Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wire News Roundup. We're to give you the latest from UMass, the Pioneer Valley, and more. Our top news today concerns a past UMass March tradition, Barney. Here's Ethan with information from the UMass Police Department and how they supposedly handled the situation. Ethan? Thank you, Bree. One of UMass's greatest traditions of Blarney has striked again this first week in March, even with COVID-19 social distancing guidelines. This St. Patrick's Day event often entails day parties, university-sponsored celebrity concerts, and night crawls at local bars. However, this year, plenty of changes were involved, including upscale pushback from the university's police. Ed Blagazewski, the university's communications director, has stated that the university will monitor Blarney as needed with increased number of campus police officers already working with campus and town to ensure peaceful environment. Concerning students, Blagazewski states, students should limit outdoor gatherings to their household members only and follow public health protocols. However, students on campus are not seeing as many UMPD officers as they thought they would have this past weekend. Now passing it to Shannon for a recap of the Golden Globes. Shannon? The Golden Globes premiered on Sunday, February 28th, and although they had in-person events in Los Angeles and New York, the majority of celebrities attended the show virtually from their homes. Starting off in the movie categories, the award for Best Motion Picture Drama went to Nomenland, the award for Best Motion Picture Musical or Comedy went to Borat Subsequent Movie Film, and the award for Best Motion Picture and Animated Category went to Disney's film Soul. There were several historic wins this year, such as Chloe Zhao winning the award for Best Director. She is the first person of Asian descent and only the second woman to win this award. Andre Day won for Best Actress for her performance in the United States vs. Billie Holiday and was the first black woman to do so since 1986. The Crown and Schitt's Creek dominated in the television categories. The Crown won the Best Television Series Drama and actors Emma Corrin, Josh O'Connor, and Gillian Anderson won for their performances in the show. Schitt's Creek won for Best Television Musical or Comedy, and Catherine O'Hara won for her performance in the show. Our next story involves UMass's new study zones. In an email from Shane Conklin sent to the campus community on Thursday, the university will open safe study zones. These spaces provide a place for on-campus students to study outside of their dorms. According to the graphic linked in the email, Buildings like the Integrated Sciences Building, the Integrated Learning Center, South College, and the Student Union are some of the many buildings open for studying. The university designated certain floors and lobbies of the buildings to be study spaces. Students must also adhere to the occupancy limit set within these zones. The university asked students to socially distance and wear masks while in the safe study zones. To see a complete list of the study spaces, head on over to our website at amherstwire.com. Tossing it to Bree for this week's upcoming weather. And from what and from what I hear, is it good stuff, Bree? Hey, thanks, Nicole. First, I'd like to say happy Women's History Month. Our team is excited to celebrate all women identifying persons as you continue to watch our show. Now let's hear a little bit more about spring possibly coming early for the Valley. This past week in Amherst was once again a chilly one. However, temperatures are slowly starting to graze up into the 60s. Starting on Monday, the weather will be high 30s, with clear skies throughout the day. Starting on Tuesday, the valley will be met with temperature within the mid 50s, ranging with scattered clouds in the sky. I'm very excited about this Thursday. On Thursday, it will be 63 degrees, a tiny blip of happiness before the weather starts to vanish away by a cold front. Ending our week off with 36 degrees on Sunday, with possible snow for the week, for the week after. Tossing it back to Ethan for our final moments. Ethan? Thank you. Today marks International Women's Day and our team is excited to be celebrating with you all. We're here to see what events the university will be having virtually this week in light of it. Although these events may be virtual, we still advise that if you go to any in-person events that you wear your mask and hire to see CDC guidelines. This has been the Wire News Roundup. Have a good week and stay safe out there.